Hello, my name is Kain Sander Genius, and today we are going to start with the first class in the series of lessons on ASP.NET C Sharp in 24 days. I'm a software engineer with over 18 years of experience in enterprise application development of, in different technologies. Well, I'm not going to bore you with so many explanations and theories, so this lesson will actually be practical. Uh, it will be uh, a practical based application with several walkthroughs and samples so be, sh be ready to follow up in your computer with the application installed all right so what are we going to cover in day one in day one we are going to look at what is the dotnet framework well the dotnet framework is a framework that helps you run an application in every operating system the equivalent of dotnet framework in java is called the java visual machine and .NET Framework is a Microsoft equivalent of the same thing. So if you have .NET in a system, then you can run any application in any system. You can run .NET application on that system, irrespective of whatever op operating system it is. So .NET Framework is the visual machine that helps you run .NET application on the system. What is ASP? ASP stands for Active Server Pages is a framework also that helps you build application that runs on the web. So Microsoft created ASP in early 2000, between 2000 and 2005 to help create applications that can run on the web. So applications, ASP applications are placed on the server and then it can be accessed from anywhere on the network. Now let's now go to get a copy of the Visual Studio IDE because we are going to be using Visual Studio IDE for this series of 24 uh, lessons that we are going to go through this time. So let's get a free copy of Visual Studio IDE. What do we do is simply go to visualstudio.com visualstudio.com so here you can get a copy of Visual Studio I think the latest one is 2013 2017 so if you come here you can just go to downloads and then you see different versions of visual studio now this is the visual studio community 2017 fully function uh, fully featured ide free downloads uh, if you want to follow strictly uh, this tutorial you might download a different version but for now you could easily click on free download and it takes you to the download page so make sure you download it install it in your system and then continue with this tutorial so if you've not downloaded it do that and then continue the video now what is an IDE an IDE stands for integrated development environment and this means an application that helps you write computer programs run them deploy them test them and even start using them in the real world so let's go ahead to look at Visual Studio. Let's get used to the environment. I'm going to stop this presentation so that we open Visual Studio and then start the tutorials. All right, so Visual Studio 2018. Visual Studio 2018 is what I'm using and then I'm going to open it and then we continue. All right, I'm using Ultimate. Virtually, it have the same features with the one you have. So now, this is Visual Studio. This is how it opens. So I'm going to show you around in, uh, features of Visual Studio, and then we continue our discussion. Now you have a set of menu, and you have several tools. Many of the tools are not displayed, but for now you have this interface here. Now these two, these two items here, they are actually very important. So most times you have to open it and click on this auto hide. Then you have the next one, sorry, the toolbox here. Always these have to be open. With time I'm going to explain to you why you need to keep the toolbox open. So what can you do with Visual Studio? Let's go back to the presentation to see where we are. 
what can you do with Visual Studio? Okay, now you can use Visual Studio to write C sharp applications. You can use it to write Visual Basic .NET application. You can use it to write uh, IntelliJ application, Visual J plus plus, and many more. So, for instance, if we click on File, simply go into New Project, you'll be able to see different programming languages that are supported by Visual Studio. Although we are going to be using C Sharp, but I'm, go I'm just going to show you different programming languages that you can actually learn in Visual Studio. This series is actually ASP.NET C Sharp in 24 hours. We are going to have ASP.NET uh, Visual Basic in 24 hours. We are going to have Visual C++ in 24 hours. Visual C Sharp in 24 hours. SQL Server in 24 hours. Python and so on. So what you are going to do, click on the subscribe button to subscribe so that if I make an update or make the next uh, lesson in the series, then you get notified and you'll be able to follow along. So these are the various languages that is supported. For us today, we are going to focus on Visual C Sharp uh, language. Alright, so let's go back to the presentation. The C Sharp programming language is a very robust programming language. It's called an Object Oriented Programming Language or OOP. Now, why should you learn the C Sharp programming language instead of the C++ programming language? C++ programming language came from C programming language. It's an extension and an, or an improvement over the C programming language. Now, how then does C Sharp have an edge over both of them? C Sharp is a language designed for the .NET. So while you will not see anything like C++.NET, you will see C Sharp.NET. If you want to start learning programming and you want to start building visual interfaces, something you can actually see and appreciate, then C Sharp is the way to go. And one thing you have to understand it is that once you learn the C Sharp programming language, C++ comes very easy. About this series, now it requires some discipline on your part for you to be able to follow along in this series most likely you have two times in a week you have this series updated with the next lesson in the series so just click on the subscribe button so that you subscribe and receive updates when i make the next one i actually uh respond in between the lessons to my subscribers who have any question they want to ask so in this journey you've started, be sure that in 24 lessons, you'll be able to write C-sharp programs. So that's about this series. So before we end the series, I would like to give you a homework. Now that homework goes this way. The first part is that you have to install Visual Studio on your system. The next part is that I want you to click on each of the each of the menus here okay and try to look at the flyouts or the items in the menu so for instance you have file click on new take a look at the different options go to edit the same thing go to view take a look at all of them and so on so if you're able to do that you get around uh, visual studio uh, environment that means that you are getting used to it. One thing now I'm going to teach you now is how to uh, display some other toolboxes that you may need. For instance, you have you have uh, here you have view. Okay, so if you go down to view, you have other windows. So under other windows, you can actually display. For instance, you have the command window, which is down here you can actually type commands and we'll see to that in a little time in one of the lessons then we also have the the error list we have the output which is already open that shows you the the, the output of your program when you start running it another important aspect is this so here we are going to connect to different databases. I, I'll teach you how to connect to Excel, how to connect to MySQL, how to connect to Microsoft SQL, how to connect to Microsoft Access, and that is what you do from here, from connect to database. So we are going to use this a lot when we are working with data. All right, so 
this is how we come to the end of this tutorial take your time to get around uh, visual studio and i'll see you in the next tutorial remember to subscribe so that you get updates when new lessons are created